Am I the asshole? For saying my stepdaughter is too close to her nanny and suggesting that the nanny moves out. My boyfriend has a daughter, Haley. Haley's mother left when she was around one and my boyfriend is pretty uninvolved as a father. When Haley was six months old her mom was dealing with some mental health issues so my boyfriend hired a nanny, Laura, to do everything baby related. He had Laura move in within a couple months of Haley's mom leaving and Laura is still working for my boyfriend today. Laura is very close with my boyfriend's family. She's with the family every holiday and honestly I think they like her better than me. My boyfriend says she's become a good friend over the years and he and Laura go out at least once a month. And Laura is extremely involved in Haley's life. She's room mom at her school I didn't know you could be room mom without being a mom, she's at every play, concert, soccer game, etc., she even goes to Haley's therapy appointments. Haley doesn't do anything for herself because of Laura. Laura wakes her up, packs her backpack and lunch and does her hair every morning and does homework with her every afternoon. She tucks Haley in every night and sits with her until she falls asleep. Haley is very attached to Laura and Laura is to Haley. Laura even takes Haley out with her on her days off. Haley has been disinterested in getting closer with me and her dad and I honestly think it's because of Laura. I was talking to my boyfriend and said that Haley's too attached to Laura and suggested that he be more involved in Haley's life since he's now in a better position to be a father and we can have Laura move out. Haley hurt us and is heartbroken and terrified. She's refusing to speak to me or leave Laura's side. She's faked being sick at school so many times this week that they don't want her to come back today. Laura says Haley hasn't been sleeping and is worried about her. My boyfriend is blaming me for all of this but there's no way I could have known that Haley would be eavesdropping or that she'd get this scared. Am I the asshole here? Update Laura left with Haley today. Apparently Haley's mental state has only gotten worse and she's hoping that getting Haley away from triggers me and an intensive therapy program will prevent her from being hospitalized. Haley also left me a card saying that she hates me and wants me to leave. <laughs> Clearly the nanny is the girl surrogate mom. Honestly, I'd suggest getting out of the relationship. You're trying to compete with the nanny and it will not end well for you or your BF or his daughter. You're the asshole. Udis or is a parent to this kid and you just want to take that away? Who the hell do you think you are? You're not interested in having Laura move out for Haley's benefit. You want Laura to move out because you're jealous that there's another woman who's so close to your boyfriend. So you want the mother figure that Haley has known her entire life to abandon her right at the precipice of puberty. What is wrong with you? In case it's not obvious, you're the asshole. You're the asshole. Massively so. You enter Haley's life, and the first thing you do is destroy the one constant in her life. The one thing that has been consistent, and she could always count on. Haley needs a lot of therapy, and a lot less of you. 100 you're the asshole. So, you want the only parental figure she has to leave, and then you act surprised that she is devastated? You're the asshole it sounds like that's the only mother figure this little girl have ever known, what is wrong with you? I'm not sure why you are so determined to separate a child from their primary caregiver, but it indicates that you are the problem. A child cannot be too close to the person that has raised them. Now that you have voiced your opinions, there is very little chance that the child will ever trust you or want you as a mother figure. You're the asshole. Check your insecurity. Maybe try working with the nanny instead of against her. Sounds like you could learn a thing from her about parenting. You're the asshole. You're not even her stepmother, you're her father's GF. Info why has the dad been a mostly absent father this whole time and why are you okay with dating someone who's been a mostly absent father? Well let's see, she's got no bio mom, dad is uninvolved, and you're letting your jealousy and insecurities destroy the only parental relationship she's ever known. Oh, and she's not your stepdaughter. She's your boyfriend's daughter. And your boyfriend should step up for his daughter and get more involved, but that's a gradual process that doesn't begin with throwing out the only mom your BF's daughter has ever known. You're the asshole. Like, asshole of the month so far. Edit thanks for the awards. Info how long have you and BF been together? Are you married or planning on getting married? Do you live together? If so for how long? You're the asshole the nanny has done for the last 11 year everything a mother and a father would have done. Of course she is like a parent to the kid. Removing her will be traumatizing for the girl. 1. What does a 30-year-old do that he can afford a 24-7 nanny? And does that have any bearing on your relationship? 2. Why would you choose to be with someone who is uninvolved as a dad? 3. 
Why do you think it's even in your right to suggest changes in the life of your boyfriend and his daughter? You are only the girlfriend. You are not even a fiancé. 4. What do you think a future looks like with your boyfriend and his daughter? And the nanny? Just food for thought. You're the asshole. Laura is a part of Haley's life in a forever sort of way. She's been her mom and it sounds like, her dad for over a decade. Your boyfriend should talk to Laura about ways to promote attachment. The only healthy way for Haley to build that with him is through Laura, not by removing Laura. As for you. You are the girlfriend. You don't get to come in and claim anything from Haley. You need to earn it. Maybe instead of looking at Laura with distrust and disdain, you honor the incredible connection and devotion she has to a child that is not biologically hers and take notes. Yes Uta, obviously this is the only parental relationship the child has. You're a girlfriend, this is not your child, you're not paying for the nanny, you have no say here. And why in the world are you even interested in a relationship with someone who has no involvement with their own child? When you need to prompt your BF to pay attention to his own child. Wow. At least he's arranged the nanny. Leave it alone. You're the asshole. No offense but you're the girlfriend with no permanent ties to this family. Laura has been with Haley since she was a baby and is literally the girl's mother. If you are not comfortable with the situation then you should leave. If not then get on board and be more supportive. Of course you're the asshole you're jealous. I can't believe you have the nerve to request that her nanny whom she obviously loves move out because. Stepdaughter isn't interested in getting closer to you? And you're not even married. Yes, your BF should be more involved and interested in his daughter but she is someone in her life that has taken on a parental role and you're threatening to take that away. Of course, Haley is petrified. I hope your BF realizes that you're not stepmom material and takes that into consideration. Absolutely you're the asshole. You're jealous and insecure. It's not your kid, and it's not your decision to make. Mind your own business. Uta. Tearing a child away from her one comfort and constant in her life because you're jealous is a disgraceful thing to do. Laura is no longer just a nanny, she is a parental figure in Haley's life. Sending her away will absolutely cement Haley's hatred of you. This sounds like a classic evil stepmother tale. You're scheming to take away Haley's mother figure. Laura sounds like the strongest, healthiest, and most consistent parental relationship in her life. I think you should reflect on why you want to do that. You're the asshole. Info How did a 19-year-old afford a nanny? You're the asshole. Even if you have been together for a long time, the way you've written this sounds like it's based out of jealousy more than it is care for Haley. Laura is the only steady adult figure that she knows, and so when and if Laura leaves helps Haley gain independence this needs to be a carefully planned situation all three adults are a part of. Laura is slowly doing less for Haley, Haley slowly spending more time with you her so far pretty absent dad. Ripping Laura out of Haley's life is going to do more harm than good. Info How long have you been with your boyfriend? And how long since have you've known the daughter in person? Do you live together and for how long have you? You're the asshole for essentially wanting to rip away this girl from the only mother she's ever known. Laura gets paid to do all this for the past 11 years? Geez, what's your boyfriend do? Una listen to yourself her dad is a failure her mom is who knows we Laura is her constant. You're the asshole so you want the only maternal figure she had with a deadbeat dad to go away because you're jealous? Maybe she's not interested in her dad because he's uninvolved for 11 years. You're the asshole. It doesn't matter how long you have been dating. Very clearly she is seen as a mother to the little girl. The woman also brought her up, you don't think that turns into feelings of motherhood? You cannot separate these two. It's not a typical babysitter deal it's like a full-time mother deal. You're the asshole stay out of it not your business. Also you sound jealous as all get out. Leave the kid with her nanny. Uta. Your boyfriend should dump you and get with her. You're the asshole. You're trying to take away the one person your stepdaughter is closest to for your own selfish reasons. Terminate her nanny if you wish to guarantee you'll never have any kind of level with your stepdaughter. I don't care how long you and your boyfriend have been together she would never forgive you. You're the asshole. You obviously know nothing about children in general, and Haley specifically, if you would suggest that her mother figure because that's what Laura is up and move out. I get why your BF's family likes Laura better than they like you. Laura and Haley genuinely love each other. If you're serious about being with your BF, you need to work with that, rather than against it. You're the asshole. You are insecure, jealous and willing to destroy an 11-year-old child along the way. How long have you been with your boyfriend? 
Laura has been in Haley's life for 11 years. You are not interested in what's best for the child, you are only looking out for yourself. Step away before you cause Haley further damage. It feels like you're trying to be a part of his family without having been there very long. You don't babe a stepdaughter, she's your boyfriend's daughter and she's got a mother figure. It's absolutely coming across as you think he wants the nanny more than he wants you. You're the asshole. You're the asshole. You actually think Haley would like you better if you made her nanny move out? This is the beginning of growing resentment and I'd be surprised if you and your boyfriend last. It's not just his daughter, it's his family too what will they say when they find out about your plan? If you threaten the only safe relationship I had, and appeared to have the power to follow through, a card explaining my feelings and a desire for your absence would be the least of it. Has this child been hospitalized before? That seems extreme. Uda, have any that kid if you want to be an involved mother, your BFS daughter already has someone, and it's definitely not your BF nor her bio mom. You're the asshole why are you with a man who isn't active in his daughter's life? That child became close to the only person who was willing to be there for her. It's not your place to decide what happens. You're the asshole. You should have put in more effort from the get-go. Your stepdaughter's heartbroken now and probably doesn't want to bond with you over this. She's clearly is more attached to Laura. What you should have done is see what she's Laura doing that you're not and try to improve, not to try and banish the only woman who treats her like a daughter and whom she's attached to like a mother. You're the asshole. And you're evil. That poor child has no one but Laura and you want to fire Laura? My ob and butt out. You're the asshole. You are not Haley's mother. You say yourself that your BF has not been a good parent. Laura is the only parental figure Haley knows. Leave them alone. I didn't know you could be room mom without being a mom. Holy shit.